Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. Okay, so when we last left off, um, we had a series of almost cataclysmic events. I was having the mental breakdown, Chef? That's because you're wandering around outside and a squirrel is biting your backside. And you're observing rotting corpses and you're about to see some more rotting corpses actually. If you do not hurry up. Can this squirrel... it's doing bites and scratches. What is that? Agar fruit. Are you going to see some more dead bodies here? I tell you what, equip this incendiary launcher. No, no, no. Draft you. Shoot... shoot the squirrel. Okay, now equip yourself with the incendiary launcher. Undraft yourself and get back home, and do not and do not go crazy in the in the process, please. What thoughts has he got? Oh, his mood is dipping. I think he's got steadfast though, which makes him slightly less likely to go completely bonkers. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh man, mental breakdown is probably going to be chef, isn't it? could really do with you not having a complete breakdown with an incendiary launcher. Get back in home. Get back in home. Have a sleep. Have some food. Whatever it is. There we go. Back to bed. Everyone's happy. Especially me. Right. Where is Squirrel? Squirrel, I've got an extraordinarily important job for you. I want you to come and get these frag grenades. Oh, excellent. What was that? An eclipse. Ah, ha ha. Eclipses you have no power over me. Right, squirrel. Blast this. Uh, no, actually step back a, a little bit. And then shoot. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. One more. There we go. Psychic drone will be no more. <sighs> People will stop having mental breaks. There we go. Psychic drone has been dealt with. In Squirrel, you can go home. You've done an excellent job. I thought you got the frag grenades still on you. We need to remember that. Okay, Diddy. Ah, uh, no. Uh, okay, scratch that. What do we need to do now? We need to bury White. Because he's going to start causing problems for Diddy. Imprisoned, observed corpse. Yes. <laughs> so in the morning, I think, we'll get Squirrel to bury the corpse of um, White in our graveyard. We'll probably need to dig out some more graves as well. And I'll get the Lee Enfield back and we'll, and we'll, put, we'll have Squirrel... Right, Squirrel, can you... Can you drop the frag grenades? Okay, that's not... But we don't want them to be forbidden. We can have them stored. I want you to go back and pick up the Lee Enfield. Because you're quite... Good with the old Lee Enfield. Right. Uh... Now we've got lots of dead bodies. But Squirrel, I've got another job for you, in fact. I need you to bury... It's forbidden. Ah. I need you to bury this uh, unfortunate tribes person that we were trying to convince and really wouldn't get convinced. And then... Squirrel is not a haul... Ah, Squirrel can't do hauling. Right, it's going to have to be somebody else that's up and about. London. Can you bury this individual, please? Okay. Maybes. Maybes we'll get back on track at some point soon. <laughs> okay, but at least we can pass freely in and out of the base now without too much of a hassle. Some pistols. We need some more storage, actually. 
come to think of it. Okay, mine out all of that. London will soon recruit Diddy back. With a 13% chance, it's highly likely actually that we'll get Diddy back. So in the meantime, uh, we can drop down some graves. What's that? A colony settler has come. There's actually a, a thing called a crematorium that we can get later on in the game, which will make things slightly better for us. There we go. Clips is ending, but clipses have no power over us. <laughs> because uh, we are thermal generated. Okay, yeah, dig out all of them graves, because there's actually dead bodies all over the place. i tell you what we'll also do, we'll need to put down some more floors here. Right, what's this? We don't care about you. Oh, Nico has joined the team. I see. Right, what's your character then? So Nico is a settler. So as a child, suffered with a rare disease. Quarantine at research hospital had minimum human contact. Uh, in the sterile hospital environment, however, he became f very familiar with science and medicine. Okay. So increased his research, increased to medicine, but reduced in melee, social and construction. It's actually not... Ah, this is a very good character for us to have. Iron willed, which means that unless things are absolutely horrendous, he will be fine. A colony settler. Nuka was settled was a settler on a new colony world. Such a life requires a jack of all trades at basic hands on tasks. Okay, so construction, growing and mining. These are all things that we really, really very much appreciate. A settler is excellent for our team. Ah, <sighs> you know, I was in at one point I was actually thinking, particularly last episode that that uh, this was going to be a very, very short let's play. <laughs> But in fact, we're not too bad. Um, chef, what are you doing, my good friend? Oh, you're hauling the assassin. Well, if you don't mind, can you strip the assassin before you haul them? There you go. Right, then haul the dead assassin. We're in a much more relaxed position now, actually. Psychic drones are down. We need to get these corpses sorted. What gear does this one have? Looks like it's got armor on. Oh, it's just a black jacket and a black shirt. Nico, what are you doing, my friend? Oh, you're mining out this. Well, that would be good if you could have just concentrated on doing it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm actually feeling quite pleased with the situation. What I think we'll do is start dropping in some more structure. I'm really, really, really pleased that we got rid of this stupid thing. And it also means that we have this thing called an AI uh, persona core, which is necessary for us to build a spaceship in order for us to fly away and escape. Someone is visiting. Okay. An excellent. It's really excellent to have another miner slash constructor on the team. It really is. Um, we'll drop some more floors down in this room as well. And I think we'll also put some more beds. And then we can start building um, research. <laughs> I haven't focused any attention really on. Um, on doing trading yet. Cause mostly we've been trying to keep on top of the food situation. London is sort of kind of keeping things together on that front, so could probably put another lamp down in this one here. Alright, that should be enough bedrooms though. If we have all these as bedrooms, that should be enough bedrooms for 
perhaps the entire length of the the let's play at least I hope anyway and then we can focus on having some production quarters here and in here particularly sensitive places I'd like to be underground so overhead mountain I think that j so that says overhead mountain that generally means that um, you're less susceptible to problems ah did did we recruit London back into the team excellent right ah uh, no did he back into the team so we've got three miners now I'm pleased about that right let's drop some floors down get this base up and running properly Come on, you guys, get to work. Bit time. Okay, well, we're making some progress here. We've even got a scyther on the pile. Scythers um, are obviously robotic creatures, and what we can do is basically um, convert them into their metallic sort of components, which means we just get metal out of them. I th think there'll probably be other things that we can do later on. Uh, in the game. Ah, storage stockpile is overflowing with things that are a little bit superfluous to the success of our colony. Hmm. I'm just thinking about where we can stick a secondary, because what I'm thinking is maybe we can put a secondary farm here. And then we can have a secondary storage thing for supplies rather than things like woods. In fact, can we keep our nice little shape and still put... Oh, we can. Okay. Well, there we go. This one is not going to have any foods in it, but it... And I think this one... We will not allow... Apparel, or weapons, or items, or raw resources. We will allow manufactured things, and we will allow meals and raw foods. There. Okay, and we'll also have to uh, produce a floor for that. There we go. Okay. So, that's the end of that day. We're actually... Are they rehauling everything? It looks like that's what they are doing. Okay. So, a few more things to do. Furniture. Lamp stand here, lamp stand here, bed here, bed here. Uh, a door, which is in structure, here and here. And then, what I think will, I don't, see, I want, I, I would normally, I will, I, I would, if I was just being careless, mine all of this, but I think we'll have to be careful because you can have roof collapses and I don't want a roof collapse. So we'll put some orders down to mine out all of that you 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 like that we'll leave these corner pieces in drop in the walls and then okay so we've got lots of bedrooms we'll have nine bedrooms once we finish doing this and I feel like we're about due another attack actually <laughs> and I haven't done put any serious work into uh into defences. I mean, uh, one thing that we can do is put put a wall here, which means that they can't stand f from outside to shoot at the thing. That means they have to get round to the other side, which puts them in line of fire, uh, which I think is probably something we should do fairly shortly after we get these rooms finished. Very good. Very industrious. Industrious. 
Lots of minerals as well, which is useful. Actually, I think we'll also drop some floors down. There we go. Come on, guys. Last little bits to do today. I'm sure you can get all these bedrooms finished by the end of today. Once they get working on things, they can actually do things quite quickly. It's just sometimes if they're, they're split between certain tasks then, and they're not focusing, or there's not some sort of dedication um, of roles, then they can actually find themselves sort of lost. But if you've got people that... So in, in our particular case, we've, we do have um, three, I think, very solid constructors and uh, miners which I think works really well for us I tell you what I think we should put some more orders in for harvesting out the food that grows naturally in our little territory what's this a dead squirrel what's this ah pirates are the oh my goodness no Deep Space Miner has a cut. Okay. Right. Um, so some, uh, well, bad news. Actually, where were they? Where are them guys gone? Here. Ah, oh, they're here. Hmm. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, here's the problem. They're building mortars, and I think this is going to be... Oh, that's another mortar. So they're planning on shelling us. This is quite a, an interesting thing that enemies can do. Um, there's a couple of tactics you can have. You can actually try and like ambush them. And, well, not really ambush them, but shoot them. Um, the problem that we've kind of got here is that the terrain is working against us in this sense. Um, unless we we build in some doors here and then we could possibly pass our troops through and then attack them maybe on a, a guerrilla basis. I don't think we could do a full frontal assault. Not with nine pirates. That's a shipwright, herbalist, commissar, quack, commissar, quack drone, assassin, and a miner. It's not too many military orientated, but even still, most of our guys are not military orientated in the slightest anyway. Um, so they're not actually going to come in from a full frontal attack. They're basically, they have these food provisions here. Just 10, 20, 30, 38, 48. I thought I saw six. I don't know, 58, right. Oh, that's six individual packages, right. Right, so here they go. They've actually already started to shell us. So if they hit, that's the problem that we're going to have to face. I don't think they can hit anything that's got the... the so if you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner, it says overhead mountain. So if, there's the, if that is the case, then I don't think they can cause us problems. But there's lots of stuff that is actually not directly under the mountain um, and they can cause us all kinds of problems thankfully I've never had the case where I've been simultaneously sieged and attacked which means that offences that can come in from various individuals uh, I don't know what to do in this situation we've only just managed to get back on our feet who has the incendiary launcher? is it Chef? You do. What kind of range have you got with that? Half decent, in fact. Hmm. Okay. What I'm thinking. When a power country... 
power con conduit down to here. And build a door there. It's not going to be ideal. I don't want basically doors just in random places. I'd rather have doors where we can fortify positions. But we're probably just going to have to do the best we can. Actually, that probably is what this series of doors here probably would have been better slightly over. Never mind. And they've nearly finished constructing this. They're getting metals to it. Just out of interest, that this range here is not how far the mortar can fire, but the, the range outside of which the mortar can fire. So anywhere inside here, the mortar can't actually target because it's just the mortar is a very long range weapon. So it can actually fire at everything else on, this, on, the, uh, on the map. Okay, so we're being besieged. This is just problem after problem, but with, oh, look at the amount of minerals and wood we've got, though. It's nice and healthy. So I think what we'll do is, Squirrel, you have the Lee Enfield, don't you? And Chef, you have the Incendiary Launcher. I think what we might do is if we get this door in place and we can have a little like, excursion, shoot at them for a little bit and then retreat immediately. Shoot at them a little bit, retreat immediately. Um, just and just keep popping out and doing that because full frontal attack will not will not work for us not in the state that we are in we've basically got miners and farmers and cooks inside this base um, some silver there yeah right so that will be what we do next time guys so until then my lovely friends stay safe take care of yourself goodbye